السلام علیکم سنگه یست شایست زو خوبی خی جوڑا یما تشکر های how are you are you doing well I'm great thanks for coming this is Afghan cooks with the Afghan who cooks and my real name is Miriam just in case you were curious about what my name was because it's not Afghan cooks I love the Popeyes spicy chicken sandwich. I don't remember my life before this chicken sandwich came into it. Kind of like you don't remember your life before you have kids, right? You feel like they were always a part of your existence. That's how I feel about the spicy chicken sandwich. And I know that other chains have tried to copy it. No, Popeyes are bossed. But then I started thinking, us Afghans, we love fried food. Really, it's the only way we eat fish. It has to be fried. We add so much oil to all of our vegetables. Our rice is basically fried and it gets this nice crunchy crispy coating on the bottom. So I thought maybe we should make an Afghan spicy fried chicken sandwich and see how it paired up with the Popeye's chicken sandwich. So we're gonna have a little duel here on Afghan cooks. We're gonna duke it out and see which one is Awal Nubra number one. So what I have here is I've got four pounds of chicken thighs. Yes, it's, it's, it's four pounds because when I tested this recipe, I only made five or six chicken thighs and that was a calamity. We don't want that to happen again. And in my bowl here, I have one whole container of yogurt because yogurt is my culture. If you watched the chicken kebab video that we just put out last week, you'll see that the way that we make our kebab super juicy and really tender is by using yogurt as a marinade. A lot of times when people make fried chicken, they use buttermilk as their marinade. So I thought, let's use yogurt and see how it goes. We want it to be spicy, so what we want is we want to start the spice early. We want the spice to get inside the chicken as well as on the coating of the chicken. So uh, what's left of this bottle of ghost pepper hot sauce, which got this hamajang, which is also a ghost pepper mix, a little more flavorful. And then I have this, it says caution on it. It does say caution on it. It says caution. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start with salt, namak. Oh my gosh, I'm at the end of my salt. I gotta add more salt to my salt. Don't have enough salt. We, the yogurt is kind of salty, it's sour, but we want, we want it to be, we want the salt to get inside the chicken. We don't want the flavoring of this just to be in the coating. We're gonna add some crushed black pepper, some lemon juice. It's about three tablespoons. Let's make it a quarter of a cup. I'm telling you, you're gonna have measurements, don't worry about it. What's great about this is that this is four pounds, one container. So if you have two pounds, use half a container. So it's, it's, um, it's not a hard, and I, I'm talking about a, a big container of yogurt, okay? Not a little tiny, you know, single serving. All right, we're gonna stir this up. Here's the thing. I could tell you how much hot sauce to add, but I don't know how much hot sauce you can stand. One of the things you all might not know about Afghans that although we don't have yet a spicy Afghan fried chicken sandwich, we have fried chicken, okay? Afghans own Kennedy fried chicken and Crown fried chicken all over New York City, okay? There's a giant Crown, I think it's Crown, or is it Kennedy? I think it's part of the same chain in Queens. It's the original one and it's open, I think, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. 
we had uh, family members who owned a franchise of the fried chicken and they gave us a box of the powder, the, the coating, and we just call it magic powder. So while we may not have an official fried chicken sandwich, we make incredible fried chicken. I don't care whose re recipe it was originally. I think it has more than 11 herbs and spices because 11 really isn't a lot. I mean, maybe it's a lot to the West or to America. You know, in fact, a lot of the time I'll see um, on Guy's Grocery Games, which I love, or any one of the other shows like Chopped, and they'll say, there's an awful lot of spices in this, or you added so much to this dish, like it could have less. And no, 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 no less. No, no less. More. Give me more. Zayaka. Dararaka. Give me a lot, okay? So, ghost pepper. We're gonna add. Khtai Paman, ghost pepper. Bye bye. And then we're gonna add some of this. Use whatever you got. If you have only red, um, if you have crushed red chili pepper flakes, add that. If you have Aleppo pepper, add that. If you have chili powder, add that. Cayenne powder, add that. Whatever it is that you have that's got some heat to it, add it, okay? It doesn't have to be this crazy number six caution sauce, which I'm a little concerned about. My kid is gonna come down and test it. He loves spicy things, so he will let me know one of them if it's spicy enough. I'm a little concerned about this. Jonas! Jonas! Okay. Jonas! Jonas! Why are you yelling right here? Oh, there you are. <laughs> How did you get there? I didn't even see you. You're like a little gremlin. Teleportation. <laughs> Teleportation. I know you don't want to be on camera, but can you taste this for me? Yeah. I'm not gonna tell you what I put in it. Hmm. Is it spicy enough? Yeah, that's very spicy. <laughs> that's very spicy? Yeah. Is it sticking your eyes? Is it too spicy? Yeah. <laughs> Did we mess it up? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you just gotta wait. You just gotta wait. And... <laughs> it doesn't last that long. long. I think it's gonna be fine. Cause that's it's just gonna be the long. marinade. How spicy? On a scale of one to ten. Nine. Nine? <laughs> Like eight, eight or, or above. Eight or above. Thank you so much. You're free to go. Yeah, I love you. Thank you, I love you too. I'm going to put on my gloves. I'm gonna take this spicy mix. So my suggestion to you is you can make this a little bit less spicy um, and then make your coating spicier or vice versa. But I'm gonna try this. That's it, okay? Now we're gonna cover it, we're gonna put it in the fridge, and then tomorrow, Sabah, we are going to make the magic happen. So we'll see you later. Salam, and welcome back. It is now the next day, it's daytime, it's beautiful and sunny outside, and I am so glad that we were able to wake up today. Um, remember last night we marinated that chicken and it was really spicy? I pulled that out of the fridge um, about 40 minutes ago so it comes up to room temperature. It fries a little bit better that way. I'm going to tell you I'm not going to cook all four pounds of this chicken today because um, the rest of the family is not awake yet. The kids are not up so we're not going to make all of it. I'm going to set that over there. What we are going to do is we're going to make our batter. It's actually not a batter, it's a, a dry coating. So I have here two cups of just all-purpose flour. If you wanna add just a little bit of breadcrumbs for texture, you can. I don't have any, so I'm not gonna use it. And we're gonna start with salt. I was told that these spoons clank around too much and that I should separate them. But you know what happens when you separate teaspoons? They get lost. We're gonna add about a teaspoon of salt. 
And I know it looks like a lot. Remember, we had this whole conversation about, oh my gosh, it's so many spices. But this is what makes it Afghan. We have, of course, cumin. Again, a teaspoon of that. A teaspoon of onion powder. Oh, and while I'm making this, since we're outside and we have a little bit of wind, it's taking a little bit of time. I have my fire on here and I'm gonna wait until it gets to be about 350 degrees. I have some smoked paprika here. I'm gonna add a teaspoon of that. Coriander, the other C. I'm gonna do a teaspoon of that. We have garlic powder. Some dill. Again, we really want to have this scream, I'm Afghan! Kind of the way that Afghans generally scream that they're Afghan everywhere they go. If you know any Afghans, you know this is true. I'm gonna add a little dried mint. A little turmeric. I'm gonna add about um, a half a teaspoon of MSG. Again, this is optional. Remember, all these spices are optional. If you don't like cumin, you don't have to add it. You know, but I suggest that you do. And then what I have here is char masala. And if you look, I have a link to the video um, it was a short actually, it's 19 seconds, super quick, really easy to make, and it's a combination of um, four spices. It's cinnamon, clove, black cardamom, but you can use green too, and cumin, and it's all ground up together. And I'm gonna use about half a teaspoon of that also. Throw some black pepper in here. And the most important part is chili powder. And I'm gonna add a teaspoon. I'm gonna add I'm gonna add two teaspoons. Stir all of this together. Now we're gonna set up a little assembly line. And the way we're gonna do it is, I have about a cup of milk in here, and we use the double dipping method. So what we do is we go chicken out of the marinade, into the flour, into the milk, into the flour, into the hot oil, and we just keep that going, okay? I have a really great little nifty, um, well, I have two things. First, I have a thermometer that measures the heat of the oil and it clips on. It's actually a candy thermometer, which is super handy. It just clips and it tells me what the temperature is. And then I have a spider, but I also have, I have this probe. They make these wireless as well. Um, usually they're for the grill or for the oven. You put it inside your meat and this one is super handy because you just turn it on and it actually, it tells you the, what kind of meat it is. I hope you can see this. And it'll tell you, uh, for beef, you can have taste. It'll tell you medium, medium well. Anyway, I really like this. I'm gonna use this to kind of test the doneness of my chicken once I pull it out. Because you don't wanna eat raw chicken. My oil is just at about 350 degrees, so we're gonna go ahead and get this started. The other day when I was testing this, my son was helping me, and he actually helped me devise this recipe. Uh, you heard him last night saying that this is really spicy. And I was using both of my hands to, to do this. And he said, mom, haven't you heard of one wet hand and one dry hand? So we're gonna see if I can make that work. So we're gonna It's gonna go into the milk with my wet hand. And then back into the flour with my dry hand. And then we're gonna drop this 
right into that beautiful hot oil. We move on to the next one. So I turned the heat down on this so it's about 320 because it was super hot and you really just want it to fry nicely but also be cooked all the way through. Now while this is frying and it takes, we're going to start with about six minutes and um, see where we're at in six minutes at 320 degrees. Um, this is a pita but it will be in, we're going to use this, I'm going to show you properly. We're going to wrap it in this deliciousness. Um, of course, you can use the homemade bread recipe as well. Um, in that, we're going to add our yogurt sauce. We actually keep it in a squeezy bottle and we use it as dressing. I told you we use it for everything. So we're going to add that. And then remember, we need these pickles. We're going to use this. And but before we add, we do any of that, we're gonna add, we're gonna add sumac to the top of the chicken when it comes out of the fryer. Um, we're gonna fry up some french fries because in the Afghani burger, it has french fries inside of it. So um, we're gonna have some french fries and I'm gonna make a spiced yogurt slash tomato based ketchup. So the french fries are done. I didn't show you that, but here's what you do. You cook them on a slower heat first. Well, let's step back for a moment, shall we? First, you slice your potatoes, then you rinse all of the starch out, then you dry them and let them air dry so they're good and uh, dry. Fry them once, take them out, fry them again. And that's how you get them to be crunchy. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our sandwich together. I have here the yogurt sauce. We're gonna put that on our pita bread here. It comes from a local bakery. We're gonna spread that around. Take this piece of chicken, set it right there. It's got the sumac on it already. And then we're gonna take some of the pickles that we made and put those, I got the carrot pickle, some of the onions, garlic, and a little of the cauliflower. I'm gonna roll that up. And then we take some of these french fries and we stick it in there. And so, oh, I made the sauce. For the french fries, I told you it was going to be a, a spicy ketchup. I, and I meant not spicy, it's spiced. So it's one part yogurt sauce, one part tomato ketchup, and one teaspoon garam masala. And I just stirred it all up. Garam masala is acceptable to have raw because it's actually not raw. The spices are already toasted before they're ground. And it's a really nice sort of refreshing accompaniment to the spicy chicken sandwich. If you like this video as much as I like my sandwich, give it a thumbs up. I almost actually forgot to close this video because I was too busy eating my sandwich. Please subscribe and hit the notification icon so that you will never miss one of our amazing videos. Until next time, bye.